Okay, so, you know, Thurgood, uh, Peter, you know, in, on June 5th, we, we wrote a column in, um, for Channel News Asia, uh, and, and it said, uh, could Donald Trump not run for re-election? Uh, so now that we're we, three weeks past that, and he's had a terrible, terrible three weeks, Peter, you think that this, uh, that this commentary could actually come to life? I, I think it's still a long shot, but I think the odds have increased a little bit. He has had a miserable three weeks. He's a very unhappy soul. You know, he is putting on weight. He looks miserable. He's not bandying about with, with the press. Uh, he's got a series of books coming out that are going to mock him and expose him for what he is. Uh, I think, uh, and the polls are certainly weighing heavy on him. Very good. Were we right? I'm gonna. I will be. I will be very surprised if he does. But as as we wrote, I think we need to keep open this possibility. He's extremely erratic. He is capable of coming up with a doozy of an excuse, and he could well be spending part of his time trying to figure that out now. Certainly, we're going to hear some doozy of an excuse if he does lose badly in November. So you might as well start exploring some alternative explanations uh, between now and then. I find it also interesting, actually, it, it, at this point in the campaign, we often talk in the presidential cycles about October surprises. Uh, whether he's thinking about dropping out now or not, he's gotten very close to the point where he is, for the most part, being defined for purposes of the election by the failures of these first few months of this year. And it, it is going to be very hard for him to shake that. So whether he sticks with this or not, he owns the, the last two or three months of misery. Well, right now, you have to look at it, it from a rational perspective. And I, I don't pretend that, that he would look at it this way. Uh, but you have to presume he's going to lose based on every marker you could find, uh, that he's going to take the Senate down with him. He is going to have no protection whatsoever in Washington from anybody. But if he were to drop out, Pence comes in, Haley becomes the VP. Even if they don't win, there's a chance the Republicans keep the Senate in that scenario, a better one than they do now. And he's way better off than if he loses and, and faces an entire uh, Democratic Party totally against him. And it's rational for him, uh, for his long-term future to bow out now. I mean, what do you think? Do you agree with me that it's rational? Not saying that he'd think of it that way, but does that make sense? That, that would be the pathway. If, if someone told me that he was going to pursue this alternative option, that would be the pathway that would get him there that I could most imagine happening. I certainly do not see um, him doing it if some collection of House and Senate members or governors come to him and say, oh my goodness, you, you got to drop out because we're going to lose seats left and right. He needs, that is precisely the wrong way to get him to consider right. trying to help them save the party. He will push back on that. But if he is, if, if the right mix of people come to him and say the best way to perpetuate all that you've been trying to pursue here is to hand it off and let Pence bring it across the goal line, that might work because then it's a matter of him seeing a way to to save his legacy and avoid having to sort of say, oh, what was me? I, I, I was going to get my, my head handed to me, so I'm, I'm gone. Best of luck. Yeah, I think, I think there is a, a, a certain uh, uh, rationality to him thinking about, you know, what's, what's, what's best, best for me, since that, that's what he always thinks about. And what's best for him uh, is, is to avoid defeat, to try and to take the best shot at having a friendly person in the White House who's not going to uh, allow the Justice Department and the U.S. attorneys to run roughshod over he and his uh, spawn uh, that are out that, that have been ripping off this this country for three years. So I th I think there is some rationale to that, and I think Goody's right. I mean, the last thing you want is the old guard to go in and tell him it's the right thing for the country. They'll call him a bunch of panty waste and he'll, uh, 
you know, he'll resist it. But uh, it clearly is lurking in the background. This, this is a very unhappy cowboy. So final, my, my closing question, the last three weeks were terrible. Do you see him turning it around or is this week coming up going to be even worse than the last three with, with the Russia, you know, uh, bounty uh, investigation that has to get started, no rallies, Pence canceling things, McConnell wearing a mask now. Um, is it going to get even worse? I think it is because, you know, there, there's not a chance that, that, a, uh, that in any of the swing states that he's going to be allowed to have these, these kind of energy building rallies. I mean, if I'm the governor of Pennsylvania, I'm sitting down right now. I'd, I'd call, uh, you know, Mr. Fau Dr. Fauci in and say, let's, uh, leaving out uh, any po politics, uh, what should we do in the fall about gatherings of people? You know, how far apart should they be? How do we protect them, whether it's a, a football game, a church service, or a rally? And uh, whatever regulations that are, are put, put, put forth, it's going to be diminishing for him. Durgan, we got another good week coming up for Biden. Uh, if the president continues to speak out, yes, for sure. Uh, the, the vice president's schedule seems to be picking up a little bit, and hopefully he gets a little more airtime and, and is able to get more message out. But at this point, the more he sits back and lets the president screw things up, the better. Yeah. Uh, Let's watch the politics about shifting the convention to Jacksonville. I don't think that was a very wise choice. <laughs> well, that'll be something we can talk about in the in the coming weeks. So, Thurgood, Peter, great, great talking again. See you soon. Good seeing you. Yeah.